Hi, so uh, here's an update on the ferrets. Um, as you may remember from the last ferret vlog, I took Onyx and Opal and Jasper to the vet on Tuesday, September 21st. Onyx and Opal needed to get their pre-op exam so that they could have their teeth cleaned. And we wanted to get blood work done on Jasper because he's losing weight and he's kind of lethargic. He's sleeping, he's a, he's a year and a half younger than Opal and Onyx, but he's sleeping as much as they are. <clears throat> so, for my fellow ferret parents, if you didn't already know this, anytime you take your ferret in for blood work, you should go ahead and pick up their food and not let them eat for about four hours before their appointment. I did call and ask if Jasper needed to be fasting for the blood test, and they said no. Then they ran the blood work, and then they were like, oh, we need a fasting glucose level test. And it's like, so when I called and said, does Jasper need to be fasting, and you guys said no, the answer was actually yes. So just for future reference, always fast your ferret for about four hours before the appointment so that if they want a fasting blood glucose test, they can do it and get good results. Now, anyway, so that was Tuesday, September 21st. The following Sunday, um, which was September 26th, sorry, I have to check my notes over there. Um, we were cleaning the ferret room, we trimmed all their nails, and then, you know, when you trim their nails, nails go flying. So we we're like, let's trim their nails and then we'll go ahead and clean the ferret room. So we had Onyx, Opal, Jasper, and Rusty here in the kitchen area, and then we blocked off the uh, office and had Opal in the office. So we were cleaning, and then we hear screaming. Amber had managed to open the door of the office and attacked Opal. Um, we found scratches on Opal's scruff, no injuries on Amber. Um, but as we were looking at Opal, we also suddenly no noticed that her left eye was kind of clear or milky white when the light hit it the right way and we're like whoa when did that happen like we just trimmed her nails and we didn't notice that was that like that already or did this happen because of the fight but there was no like injury around the eye or anything um so it just looked like her eye suddenly turned white so we talked to the vet and she said it can seem to happen pretty quick sometimes um and you know she didn't notice it on tuesday but it's possible that it had developed in the interim in that time um it could also be because when they're in brightly lit rooms their um, pupils are really constricted and so it wouldn't be as obvious whereas we keep the house kind of dark so it's a little bit easier to tell um but as time as the weeks have gone on now the white of her her, her left eye has gotten more and more white and it's gotten more and more obvious um but there's no bulging or irritation or anything like that so the vet says it's fine as long as it continues to stay looking like that um if it does start to bulge or look irritated or anything that we need to contact her so that was that sunday then we took um opal and onyx to the vet for their teeth cleaning on october 1st that was a friday and they did very well um out of a score from one to four one being very good and four being really nasty teeth they had all ones and twos on all their teeth Opal is missing her front two bottom teeth. Um, I don't, I think I knew that and had forgotten. I think that's been like that for a while. Um, and then Onyx had some tip wear on both of her top canines. But other than that, they had ones and twos for all their teeth, so they're very clean. Just a little bit of, um, you know, gum receding in some places. But keep in mind, they're four year old ferrets, and this is the first time we've had to get their teeth cleaned because we use healthy mouth water additive. So that's really good that. You know, this is their first teeth cleaning ever. They're four years old and they got all ones and twos and had very little buildup. That's really good. So really happy with happy mouth, a healthy mouth. Uh, highly recommend it if you can get it. Um, you can only get it online, but they make it for cats and dogs and horses. And we use the version for cats for our ferrets. Okay, so then that was Friday, October 1st. Now we did try to make an appointment to get Jasper's fasting blood glucose test. Um, however... Uh, I don't want to have to drive to Tampa again to get that done. Obviously, we can get that done at our local vet. But Amber and Rusty also have to go in for their rabies vaccines here shortly. So I was like, okay, so let's make an appointment for them. So the soonest we could get them in for the rabies vaccines was Friday, October 22nd. So that's going to be next Friday as of the time that I'm recording this. Um, so it kind of sucks that we had to wait an extra month to get the glucose test done. And we would have had that information had I just had him fast before I brought him in. So now I know, always fast your ferrets before you bring them in for blood work. Even if they say that's not necessary, just do it. An update on Opal and Onyx. Uh, they did have to get their forearms shaved for the IV. 
And with Onyx, they just shaved one arm and it was fine. With Opal, they ended up having to shave both arms because they couldn't, I guess they couldn't get the IV in the first way. And her, her arms were so bruised, like purple when she came home. It was really bad, but it cleaned up, cleared up within a couple days. Excuse you. Now they both have little shaved arms. You can see here, she's got a little sleeve. Um, and I don't anticipate that this is honestly gonna grow back for a while. Um, now, the doctor had mentioned that she thought maybe Opal was exhibiting signs of um, insulinoma because her hair wasn't growing back. She had had to shave her belly to do an ultrasound and the hair was growing back kind of patchy. Um, and she was also losing some hair on her tail. Now, I really didn't expect the hair on her belly to grow back e yet either because before we started all this, all the ferrets had just gone through their twice annual shed and regrowth. So they will shed a little bit throughout time, you know, obviously throughout the whole year, but they only go through a massive shedding and regrowth twice a year. And they had just done that. And I'm like, so they're probably not going to regrow that fur until they go through the next shed and regrowth cycle. So it's going to be a couple months, um, you know, but I'm fine with that. But um, does that make me a little concerned that maybe I know a little bit more about ferrets than my vet? Yes, I think maybe that starts to become the case for most ferret parents. Unless you're lucky enough, like Courtney on the Trained Ferret YouTube channel, to have a vet, a local vet, who literally got into veterinary medicine because of ferrets, and they are a ferret expert. That's amazing! That is not the case for most of us. We're lucky we can find a vet that can even treat ferrets let alone has any idea what they're doing. So, you know, and, and I won't say that this vet that I've been taking the weasels to out in Tampa doesn't know what she's doing. She does, She's knowledgeable enough to know that, uh, you know, swollen spleen is fairly normal in older ferrets. And so she wasn't necessarily concerned about cancer or anything like that. So that's great that she knew that. But like, I'm kind of wondering why she didn't know that ferrets go through a molt and regrowth of fur twice a year and why she was therefore surprised that the hair wasn't really growing back on Opal's belly and was growing back kind of patchy. And it's like, yeah, probably, you know, it'll be another three months or something before it actually grows back. So I don't know. I think just as time goes on, you learn so much about ferrets and end up having more experience with all the various things that ferrets can go through than any single non-ferret specialist vet has ever experienced. So I think probably within the next five years or something like that, I'm going to become more of an expert than most of the vets in the state. <laughs> so we'll see. I will do another update after um, next Friday when we get the results of the fasting blood work for Jasper and then, you know, just a rabies shot for Amber and Rusty. So it should be totally fine. Yes, come here, my little waffle. Show your cute face, Miss Amber Skywaffle. Look at that cute face. Is there nothing so cute? Mm. They need their nails done again today. That's going to happen tomorrow, probably. Anyway, so, yes, ferret update. Now you can see some ferrets instead of my, my face. Yes, much better. Okay, thanks for watching.